music fans, uh, welcome back. Uh, it is Dave, the Real Music Observer, observing real music in real time for real people just like you right there and just like me right here. Survivor. Survivor the band, not the TV show. Just want to make that clear because you could say that and people would think, oh, you're stuck on an island somewhere and you got to make do with a couple of sticks and... Uh, piece of fish or something uh no no this is survivor the band or what's left of the band uh this guy frankie sullivan guitar player he's an all right guitar player he's not like the greatest uh and he's in this band uh survivor uh survivor eye of the tiger um the search is over you survivor okay so he owns the name to this band and a couple years back when the late, great, incredible Jimmy Jameson was still with us. Uh, Survivor was kind of cool. They had both Dave Bickler and Jimmy Jameson and Frankie Sullivan on the same stage. It was almost too cool to just take all in, to have both of these guys who are great vocalists, um, Dave Bickler, Eye of the Tiger, and the Real Men of Genius. That's right, those famous commercials. Uh, that, you know, probably only went off the air a few years ago. Uh, what an ad campaign. Bud Light, man. Those guys were smart. And uh, uh, Dave was the voice of all those commercials. But uh, why I'm talking about this is after uh, Jameson passed away, uh, Frankie Sullivan decided to um, kick Dave Bickler to the curb as well and hire some five-year-old vocalist who is now maybe... 10, uh, who looks about five still, and whose voice really doesn't actually sound like either Bickler or Jimmy Jameson. Uh, Sullivan, of course, took Jim Peterick to court and apparently won a legal battle for the name of the band, even though Jim Peterick is a genius, okay? Even though uh, he's responsible, by the way, for not only writing great songs for Survivor, but for a whole slew of great artists. And you can just Google that. I know 38 Special is one of those artists. And Jim Peterick has his own band. Um, you may know of Pride of Lions, which is sort of a veiled reference at um, the whole Survivor concept. And uh, the vocalist in that group, Toby Hitchcock, uh, can sing circles around this uh, adolescent who is now in uh, Survivor. Uh, Frankie Sullivan is not really a smart guy. Uh, Frankie Sullivan seems to be uh, difficult to work with. Uh, if you read interviews uh, that Dave Bickler gave after he was unceremoniously booted from the group, uh, he talks about all of the mystery and all of the intrigue and all of the lack of creativity. Uh, it appears that Frankie Sullivan just wants to be a very bottom feeder tribute band rather than have uh, the kind of impact that the group Survivor had. Look, Survivor ran into a wall uh, in the late 1980s. Um, they should have continued... Uh, the string of great songs and great hits that they had. But, you know, record labels sometimes drop the ball. And, of course, we all know the big music conspiracy where everybody just loved grunge. And it, grunge was just waiting to take over for good quality melodic rock. And Survivor fell victim, you know, to that whole scenario. Uh, they released an album, I think, late in the 80s, and it didn't go anywhere. And then... By the time they probably had material for another album, the music industry had changed. And, you know, uh, plus that band broke up so many different times and there's so many different personalities. And I have a hunch that maybe Frankie Sullivan might have had something to do uh, with that lack of chemistry that uh, the group apparently had. Uh, maybe it was Jim Peterick, but at least Jim Peterick is a creative guy. I mean, one of the most creative guys in rock, if you ask me, uh, is working with Dennis DeYoung right now, and hopefully they'll create something fantastic, and we can forget about the current Sticks lineup even more. Uh, 
But here's an interesting tidbit too. There's a guy out there by the name of Shearer, okay? Mark Shearer, who could sing circles around anybody Frankie Sullivan could have employed for uh, Survivor. This guy, Danny Vaughn. I don't know if you heard of Danny Vaughn. He's in a couple of groups. Uh, most notably, I think it's called Taiketo. Uh, and it's a group mostly that does well over in Europe. Uh, he sounds like he could sing in Survivor. Uh, on and on we go. Um, I just don't understand why we did the star search thing and we booted poor Dave Bickler, who, whether you think he sounds anything like he used to sound, it, it kind of doesn't matter. I mean, he can sing Eye of the Tiger all day long and I'll listen to it because it's Dave Bickler and he's the original vocalist and he seems like a really nice guy. Frankie Sullivan, on the other hand, doesn't seem to have really a, a brain cell right now. I'm just... I don't know, you've got the name of the band, and you could probably conquer the world again, but instead you're playing county fairs and, you know, the Elks Club, rather than, you know, big arenas and stuff, because of pride, because you think, you know, it's your way or the highway, because you don't need Jim Paterick, you don't need Dave Bickler. I mean, this is just a travesty. I mean, I feel bad for Survivor fans that might want to actually go see this band, but I guarantee you, you're going to be disappointed. This is nothing like your dad's or your grandfather's survivor. That's pretty tragic that I'm even saying it. But, you know, the band goes back like 40 years now. So, in any event, uh, I'm pretty much done with this video. And uh, venting about Frankie Sullivan uh, doesn't seem to be a really nice guy. And uh, I trust what Dave Bickler says. Dave Bickler... He was having a great time when uh, Jimmy Jameson was still alive and uh, singing those songs and going back and forth. And uh, it seemed like a way to get that band back or at least get them in the right direction. Uh, plus, you know, possibly some new music that Bickler was talking about. But we'll just have to wait for Dave's solo album instead. I'm sure it will be better than anything that Frankie Sullivan would have created. All right, I'm done. Uh, that's it. I vented. Uh, I'm out. I'll talk again soon. Have a great day.